So the Sony 20mm f1.8 is one of the most underrated lenses in the Sony lineup. There's always a lot of love for the 24mm G Master, but the 20mm is a nice sweet spot, especially for vlogging. There's something just magical about the prime look on a vlog. So today we're going to cover a lot. We're going to cover the autofocus, the image quality, stabilization. Is it wide enough? Low light plus one key key element to why this might be the most cinematic vlog lens you could buy. Let's get into it. All right, so here's how we're gonna run this particular video. I carry along for the day, vlogging, doing photo stuff, and then we'll talk about all the stuff that we said we'll just talk about. All right, so one of the first things on the agenda for today is I need to test out my street photography POV behind the scenes setup. So we're gonna run downtown with that, try the iPhone out strapped up to me, and then we'll see what we get there. All right, so we're downtown, about to go try and snap a few photos. But before we do that, let's talk about the lens just a little bit. So build quality is pretty amazing. You do have basically like a G Master lens put into a G body and then especially the size for a vlogging lens makes it really feasible for this type of setup. On the A7S 3 it fits really well as you're holding it down there because it's lightweight, the build quality is great. Did I mention it was weather sealed? And then the other cool thing in there is the aperture ring. So even right now I'm a little bit overblown and if I de-click here, I can smoothly make exposure changes there to the image so it looks pretty good. Let me go ahead and put on this street camera setup there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put together this iPhone setup and see if we can do that and grab some shots here real quick with the 16 millimeter lens here. Some of these shots have turned out okay on the street photography trip, but let's just keep talking about this lens. The big thing is if this is wide enough. Now this is with me walking and talking here, and you could see all of my background there, backlit there. But you can see, you could get a lot into the shot even, and this is just me hand -hand holding it. So it's definitely wide enough, which is what makes this lens so, so, so dope, is that you could get a wide angle lens with two people in the shot if you need to get your environment and everything that's going on. But you still get a nice shallow depth of feel. Now aside from just how wide it is, one of the things you probably want to know is how stable is the lens? Well, this is me just walking and talking as you would in a vlogging situation here. Just holding on to the lens, walking and talking. There is no stabilization in this lens, but all the bodies that you'd probably be using it on to vlog, all the full frame lenses there, would have stabilization in it there, which is good enough. And then because it's a wider field of view there, it does give you a little bit more room for error with the shakiness there. All right, so even though some of the street photography stuff is coming out all right, we still haven't really solved the problem that we want to solve. So I think we need to run over to Best Buy real quick, go and buy a GoPro and a Osmo Action to test those two things out. Let's go. from doing some of those tests there for you. And as you can see, it is an amazing lens. I do want to talk real quick. I just about give you guys an update since we are doing a vlog. I know most of you probably are watching me for the very first time, but as a creator, I think this will still be very important to you. First and foremost, we'd recently passed 10,000 subscribers, which was a big, big deal to me. Thank you for everybody that has hit the subscribe button. But if you do happen to be one of those 10,000 people, you may have noticed that I haven't posted a lot recently. And I don't mean to bring down the vibes of the video, but we were dealing with a lot. As a family, my grandmother had fallen down and broken her hip, so we we're trying to take care of her together, my mom, my whole family, and everything. And then eventually she had a lot more complications and she passed away unfortunately in December. She was 87 years old, so I mean, she lived a long, full life and all that, but when you're trying to deal with all that stuff as a creator, sometimes it's really hard 
to create. So to all my creators out there, you know you have to push through what you have to push through. Sometimes you do have to take a break and do a reset. So there's tons of videos that I've wanted to do and just have not been able to do. But I mean, I have things like this dope ass microphone that I've been using here from Murfak Audio. Filters from Tiffin, this light back here in the background. Anyway, back to the actual lens itself. As you can see, it is wide enough. It is stable for the, enough for you to vlog on. The image quality is also amazing as well as the autofocus. Right now it is locked onto my eye. If I put my hand up, you can see there, it locks onto my hand, snaps right back to my eye there. Boom, boom. And in a vlogging situation, like what we're doing here, you normally have to flip the camera around, flip it back around. It snaps back onto your eye amazingly. Again, this is on the A7S III right now, but I've also used it on the A7 III and it worked like a charm. So if you have the A7C, the A7 III, the new A7 IV, this lens is great and it's silent aqua photos as well. I'm not sure how that works, but it doesn't make noise when it's focusing and it does have to change the focus, which is great for video. And then next up, what we do need to do is go outside and show you how this thing performs in the nighttime in a city situation there. So let's go do that here real quick. And then don't forget the last key reason why I think this is the most cinematic lens out there. So super quick, this is in the middle of Buckhead at f1.8. As you see, I'm walking here through the light. Just the regular street lights is good enough. And the exposure is good enough. If I switch here to the street, you can see how dark it is here. But yeah, if you were walking and talking at nighttime on city streets, or even if it was a little bit darker than city streets, because I'm on the A7S III, I also have another base ISO would be that overblown. Let me run into a dark area right here just to show you. <clears throat> and even in a much darker area here with much less light because of the low light capabilities of the A7S III coupled with the 1.8 on the lens, it's just the best lens that you can have for low light in a vlogging situation. <clears throat> All right, so back inside from the low light test here, as you could see, this is a fantastic choice and a great lens for vlogging itself. It's probably the best prime lens there. There's a 14 millimeter G Master lens there from Sony, but that lens is a lot bigger and a lot bulkier. And because of the front element there, you can't get filters onto it. So that makes it a kind of a drawback for video shooters there. Now the question would be there, would I recommend this as the best vlogging lens on the Sony system? Well, even though it's the most cinematic, it might not be my number one recommendation there. To figure out what that one is there, hit the subscribe button and the notification button, or click the video on the end screen for what I think is the best vlogging lens for the Sony system. Anyway, I'll catch you in the next one. Big up yourself. Peace.